Time to pick Manufacturer Series Nations Cup. Pick one team and one driver. Peugeot. 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 Team choice. <laughs> Good distance, good framing, yeah. Hello viewers, Simon Bishop here. Hello viewers, Igor Fraga here. Is it it's, all, it's already recording. As you can see, this is the superior YouTuber here, yeah. of course. What are you doing, Steve? I have something <laughs> special. I'm going to turn this into the rich energy hanger. Just, just remove all of these shoddy drinks, awful drinks. Let's get them out. <laughs> Thank you for coming, boys. The real king. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Job done. Basically done. Oh, that's rich energy. I haven't seen one of those. I'm weird. Mr. Simon Bishop, there right. he is. Out of focus, but there, there he is. <laughs> Here you go, my friend. Live taster session for you. It smells like victory, doesn't it? it tastes a bit like a sewer, but in a can. Would you say that it's hashtag better than Red Bull? I definitely feel faster than I did. You're going to win now, yeah. guaranteed. I think my heart might be giving in, but it's not bad. And so your names to enter, we've, uh, it's the same, sort of pretty much the same as last time. Uh, Chris? Chris Lewis. Hey. You're going to win, we're going to win it, right? Yeah. Well, we've got to. Got to All in mean time. And Peugeot needs redemption. Four and five into second place. Oh, a little bit rough there over the top. You can hear on the uh, the team radio there. Oh, Peugeot oh. big up into the wall. Peugeot off into the wall in the early stages. My name is Tom Brooks. Alongside me, Jimmy Broadbent. Jimmy, we had Manufacturer Series action today. Uh, yesterday, rather, we have got Nations Cup action coming up here today. But in the middle... The important one, of yeah. course, the Pro-Am race. The big one, the Pro-Am race, where we see some of our pros here, our drivers, mixed with uh, people from different media outlets, and it usually ends up being quite a uh, eventful race, I think it's fair to say. Well, the great thing is we've got uh, quite a wide range of skill. We have, for example, we have Super GT here again, very experienced driver and people who are not, so, yeah, going to be a fun one. Yeah, you can see the starting lineup there, so, yeah, absolutely right, as you uh, say there, Jimmy. Here is Lewis Bentley, then Super GT, who will be uh, lining up alongside him, and Super GT, of course, at one last time out with Mikhail Hazal, so he's on good form. However, they are in the Persia, which isn't the mm. fastest car out there. Martin Grady, are you going to get sent to the shadow run in this race? No, I'm not going to get sent. What are your chances? Um, well, so if we send you to Narnia, I think that'll be fine. This is R4M versus Narnia. Yeah, yeah, that's literally it. <laughs> the irresistible force versus the immovable <laughs> objects. Absolutely. It boils down and everyone explodes and dies. What's the plan for the race then? Send everyone else to the realm on lap one and then yeah, run away. Inside with turn it. one, hope everyone else kills each other and then drive away the victory. It's easy, really. Job done. Of course, we have our pro drivers here to help tutor, and here is where they're going to be driving. They'll be driving at the uh, Circuit de Spa Franco Schomas. And here is how the grid lines up. Racing Association and Keto there. Then in sixth, we have Super GT. Audi R8 on pole position. Of course, Josh Sutil now behind the wheel of that car. What about drive drive though? Mike Ferney in second position. He's very quick on GT Sport, so could spring a few surprises here. Very quick, be very kind to him. I don't, I don't want to be kind to him, Tom. But anyway, here we are then. Sure, Coming up to the start for the time to start our World Tour 4 Pro Am exhibition race. And of course, it is Grady uh, and all the sport that draw, they, uh, leave the grid down yeah, towards to the T1 inside, for the first time immediately. Uh, uh, that's Drive Tribe and Mike Fernie going to the so inside really try and make a move at the source. Let's see how they get through nice. clean. I hope they do. What a start though for Super GT and Lewis uh, Bentley well, already up into third. No, into second place getting uh, Drive Tribe and Mike Fernie there coming down the hill. What a start for the Peugeot. Absolutely brilliant stuff there as you say up in towards that uh, 
Right-hander, as you know it, of course, of O'Rouge oh, and Radion yeah, nice over the brow of the hill. We go a bit of a corner cut on. there for yes. the uh, Toyota in the background as well. Everybody making it very cleanly through with a penalty being given, a few penalties being given there. And look at Super GT challenging for the race lead and through into the race oh, lead here. So back. Steve Brown is now out in front in this race. But look at Drive Driver oh, oh, there. there and contact up into Lakeum. Super <laughs> GT is <laughs> off the track. A penalty has been given as well for Drive Drive. Yes, and sir. here come replay oh, no. as well. well we this is very quick from the Czech right, team. You. They are looking very handy now up into third. I think Steve there opted to try and avoid the shadow realm and went straight across uh, Lake Como and keeps the position and a little bit of time now. I'd be interested to see if the stewards give him a bit of a slap of the wrist for cutting the chicane. Now down to no name because uh, Replay tries to go around the outside of Drive Drive but uh, we've Mike Burnley holding station there at the moment and looking like he's struggling. Now chances are you'll only get a five second gap anyway because of the boost. Yeah, let's, let's try and get that at least. Well, attacker there just to the right to say, please go faster. <laughs> I think that's what he's trying to say. <laughs> well, you can see positions changing and also Sport and Grady are having an absolute shocker on this opening lap. Josh Schutzel now down into eighth position behind the wheel of that Audi. But look at Drive Tribe and Yamanaka versus Replay and the Kakao car coming through on the inside into the right-hander. Are they going to make the move stick? They're side by side through the corner and the Hyundai. Tell you what, mate, that was some turn one unit. That was massive. Went for it. But they all went way too early. It was right yeah. to go to the inside though, for sure. Okay, 3.4 gap now, that's right. The replay guy's through, he's good. Yeah, yeah, so we've got to, we've got to get ahead now. Great go on it down the temp from pole on the grid. Meanwhile, at the front, Super GT doing pretty much what he did at the last prime race and trying to pull a gap early on. Already got 3.5 seconds over the guys from replay behind them. So if he can keep this up, that will do him well. Yeah, they must do a minimum of three laps, these AM drivers here as well. You can see Drive Trump and Yamanaka and somebody going way, way wide at that final corner. You can see also uh, Peter Lyon, who is behind the wheel, has got a penalty there in P5 and now loses a position also to Maxime, who moves up now inside the top five. So positions exchange changing top places here inside the fringe of the top five. There is uh, GCP yeah. Kyle, otherwise known as Kyle Patrick, of course, and doing very good things. He is in fourth position and trying to challenge for P3 against Drive Tribe. They're going to run side by side up through oh. Rouge here. Very <laughs> close. They just back out of it. Sensible. Well, no penalties either, have they? At this point, no. Drive Tribe does, though. Okay. Yeah, they gained half a second on this lap. Yeah. But uh, that's okay, just half a second. We can manage that. At fourth right now, a bad run coming out of Staff Flow 2, but Peter Lyon there I'm is holding, up, holding up the, the traffic, and there's a, oh, we're free wide now coming up towards Blanchemont. Maxime goes up the inside, but a hip and shoulder on the way through there, takes the inside of Blanchemont and up to sixth place, and Maxime two for one. Over now, here comes Race Online Hungary. No, not quite close enough to make a move into the first. <laughs> Yeah, I'm binned it, yeah. All right, mate. I'm going to put that set down and get ready to get in. Yep. I mean, instead of they won Audi and Audi action there, Autosport versus Race Online Hungary, and Josh City all there at the wheel of that to Audi currently in eighth place, getting all kinds of sideways, trying to get on the throttle, coming out of stuff there. What happened? Uh, no, sorry, I thought that was somebody else, but behind them is uh, Nakashi. Now we're back online with Race Online Hungary. Now, we, what we think we're going to see here is everyone peel into the pit lane. Already, there you go, our, our leader pits in. Super GT comes in from the lead. Solid. Replay's staying out. Wow. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A moment, but everybody else pretty much in the pit lane and changing over to their pro driver. So now Yamanaka takes over behind the wheel of the Toyota. Uh, Lewis Bentley behind the wheel of the Peugeot. Your race effective race leaders in this uh, one. Uh, Kenny Kanomos, then uh, Yamanaka, as we said, Grasso, Grady, Pongdene, Kato, uh, as well as Sugawara, McMillan, and uh, Bishop now will take over. Mate, are you sixth gear? <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't realise how big into the strip stream I was. It's all good. And this car combination. Has but, to uh, Florida well, Pogne sure, there in the limit, Jaguar, yeah. just in the front of your picture, also doing very impressive things behind the wheel of that F-Type here so far. Yep, that car, pretty decent round spa, quite quick in a straight line, of course, as well. Now we're seeing replay Worst coming to the pit to change out to their pro driver, <laughs> uh, Kajal there. 
Um, I think they're probably going to lose that first position. Of course, the Hyundai guys waiting in the pit lane. And that will, of course, push Super GT and Lewis Bentley up into the lead. Let's see. Coming out the pit lane now. And yep, here we go then. So that is how the standings are at the moment. It's Super GT and Lewis Bentley first, replaying because Joel third and GTP Carl and Kenny Colomus, uh, that's really hard for me to say, <laughs> in third position. <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Racing Hungary and Kato going down into P10 here as well. But meanwhile, this is a very impressive uh, job yeah, from the Persian guys of Super GT and Lewis Bentley. We could be on for back to back victories here for Super GT and the Pro Am race. I don't know what it is about. Well, they're everywhere. Tom. There's one on the right there. What are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, Porsche, of course, that we saw with uh, Sugawara. Look at this. Absolutely brilliant stuff. So many positions oh, ready no. to change. Grady on the inside. Kato on the outside. And it's going to be big contest. They're all off the circuit. McMillan involved here as well. And here comes Cy Bishop in the Toyota. Down into the bus stops again. We go nearly six wide. He's been coming to that corner. I don't believe in absolute carnage. Oh, oh, my goodness. They're all off onto the inside of the track. This is absolutely... Absolutely huge! Come on, he's going to get a little bit of a uh, toe uh, from Kato in front, but not quite. And again, there's Grasso oh, on the no. inside, three wide, coming up to Blanchim on Bishop on the outside. Work. Let's see what happens here. It's Contact the Bishop's off. There he goes off into the undergrowth. He'll come back on the track. No, there he is. Oh, oh, oh no, my goodness! The Hold on the brakes, boys. Oh no! And look at that huge drama as the Jaguar goes spearing into the side of the other cars. Paul Janet we'll makes an absolute miss <laughs> of his brakes, and Bishop goes. Right Round as we come on to the final lap, <laughs> yeah. Grady gets through into fourth and he's absolutely overjoyed. But down in towards La Source we go and still 3-1, Grasso on the inside oh, and he's straight he's, into the side of everybody. He's wiped everyone out there. I think the stewards are just giving up at this point. <laughs> trying to push them wide. Here comes the car the of Super GT the and Lewis oh Bentley, God. the Peugeot, okay. out of the final <laughs> corner and over the line Get to take there, victory. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant stuff. <laughs> Super GT and Lewis Bentley. Are the undefeated Pro-Am champion. Get used to, get used to seeing this. <laughs> uh, that was good fun. It's good to get some glory uh, to, with the Peugeot as well. What a brilliant race from Super GT and Lewis Bentley. The Peugeot at team are on top here at Salzburg. My word. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and handshakes on the podium as well. And now, please welcome our winners of the Pro Am race here at Salzburg for World Tour 4 of the 2019 Gran Turismo Championships. It is Super GT. <laughs> Secretly, Steve loves the light, light doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Look at them. Soaking it all up in there. <laughs> Fantastic stuff here at Salzburg as well. We'll be talking to the podium finishers in just a few moments. Right, c c okay. come down here, lads. Come on, I can't get up there. I've got a bad back. Come on, that time you come. <laughs> pro pro race for you guys, though, the pro am. How was it for you guys out there? Um, well, that was my first time playing the game, and yeah. I think I adjusted quite well to it. Yeah. And so I really enjoy it, so it was good, yeah. You can tell you know, the talent's coming out there. Lewis, a victory in the Peugeot at last. I'm just so glad the Peugeot's won something. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's been a long journey, and yesterday didn't go so well, but it's won a race. Now, were you guys aware of the, I mean, absolute scenes behind you? It was carnage. I mean, we're talking four wide coming through Blanchemont. Could you, could you even see that back from the mirror? Like, I mean, you, were, you were in the car. Could you see anything? I kept looking up at the screen, and I spent quite a while in that race just watching it. It was a bit messy. Obviously, you got a lot of straights on Spa, so you've got plenty of time to uh, have a look. It's kind of interesting, because I could see you every now and then. The camera would come down to you, and you just thought, yeah, I'm pretty calm. And meanwhile, absolute mayhem going on behind. I mean, so second win for you. Are we going to come back for a third, do you reckon? Yeah, make it, make it a hat trick. And can I just say, get in there, Lewis. Fantastic drive, mate. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's our winners. Congratulations, guys. Another win for Super GT and the first win for Lewis Bentley.
but it's just really uh, He was optimistic as well. He made a mistake, so... Yeah, but still does it again because they're going to complain about this. But that still doesn't mean he can... That's bad. But then Karatza... He, 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 he thought... He thought... Uh, Yeah. Smooth operator! <laughs> 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 